Let's talk about how what's in our mouths, the teeth and the gums and the gum health, can affect our mental health. This is a pet topic of mine. I'm Dr. Lewis, I'm a psychiatrist and an integrative medicine doctor, and I have this particular obsession with oral health. So it's not so easy to have really healthy gums and to have like really healthy dental, like really good dental care. It's, it's also a systemic issue, you know, with access to good care and good information about this. It's important because gum disease, uh, periodontitis or something like that, uh, then like do dentists speak, is very common and it can cause inflammation in a mouth, which maybe, you know, sometimes you feel like, mm, like a little inflamed or there's like a little bleeding with flossing or brushing, uh, but that can lead to systemic inflammation. And it's one of the common hidden sources of inflammation, of systemic inflammation. Uh, it can be bad for, for teeth, right? And lead to uh, gum issues and dental issues and even bone issues. Uh, so that's the local part, but also the cytokines, the inflammatory cytokines that are, you know, created because of all this inflammation in the mouth, then flow through the bloodstream throughout the entire body. And they also flow into the brain, right? So they are not like cut out by the blood brain barrier from crossing into the brain. And that's why what's going on in your mouth and your dental health and gum health can have an impact on your mood. So research shows that there's a link between chronic inflammation in general and depression. And we can measure C-reactive protein, which is one of the easiest ways to check for inflammation, but we don't know exactly where that inflammation is coming from. So then it's like this detective work of trying to figure out like, is it, is what, 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 what is it, right? And one of the questions is, what's going on with your dental health, right? And if there are any signs of inflammation in your mouth, it deserves attention. That's the connection, right? Gum health, inflammation, inflammatory molecules going to the brain, causing brain inflammation, and that causes mood disorders, anxiety, other mental health issues. There's also research linking anxiety and inflammation, right? There are lots of different health conditions that are linked to inflammation and lots of different brain conditions that are linked to inflammation, right? So this is, this is why uh, keeping your teeth really healthy, uh, keeping your gums really healthy is also a way to take care of your mental health, right? And I discuss in other places how to take care of your mouth um, and you know, also this is, this is, uh, you can get a dentist and other people to give you input, uh, but basically, you know, m do whatever you need to do to not have inflamed gums, not have bleeding when flossing, you know, also floss and brush. Um, and also a lot of, uh, dental products are very, uh, very like chemically complicated unnecessarily, right? So also choosing non-toxic uh, toothpaste is super important and also you maybe will get more out of using an electric toothbrush. Um, so there's also research specifically looking at uh, the prevalence of dental health issues and mental health conditions. So there was a research study uh, looking at like is there a connection and it did find a significant association uh, between poor oral health and increased rates of a number of different mental health conditions, including depression and anxiety. Why exactly? That's like a more complicated question, right? In part, it's like if someone has bad uh, oral health, that could lead to social withdrawal. And social withdrawal and isolation because of being embarrassed about dental health or pain or whatever, that can have a negative impact on mental well-being. So that's related more to like pain and aesthetic issues. There's also a, like a worldwide comprehensive review about uh, oral disease and 
uh, public health challenges around the world, looking at like what's the prevalence and impact, what's the management uh, of these conditions. This is research from 2019. Uh, and in this study, the findings are that systemic inflammation coming from uh, like gum disease, periodontal disease, uh, can have negative impact on mental health issues, right? And that can again include depression and anxiety and other issues.